daily one missionary biography titus quan born in united states the place of vision haiwan islands born in the farmlands of killingworth titus quan was the youngest son of gaylord quan and tamza nettleton although he heard the gospel for most of his life he did not surrender himself to christ until he was 28 once he happened to attend a charles j fenney's revival meeting in new york where he accepted christ as his savior he surrendered himself wholeheartedly and looked for opportunities to serve god he went to auburn theological ceremony in new york in 1831 after his ordination in 1833 the american board of commissioners for foreign missions sent him for a brief period to pantagona south america for the mission work coan married fedella church in 1834 and together immediately set off to the hawaiian lands they joined sara and david lyman stationed at hilo where the people were under the burden of slavery and superstitions coan traveled extensively on foot crossed the streams trekked the hills to reach different groups of people in the islands he learned the hawaiian language and preached four to five times a day as people flocked around his home till midnight to listen to the word of god coan barely found time to eat and rest during the period 1837 to 1838 thousands accepted christ including drunkards adulterers robbers and murderers there were scenes of repentance of sins everywhere coan had tremendous concern for the lost souls and his method of evangelization was unique although he preached to the crowds he preferred to personally counsel every person in his district he maintained a small book and wrote down the names of every convert he vigilantly prayed for them and visited regularly to strengthen their spiritual life neither storms nor heavy rains or any other natural disaster stopped him from reaching out to his people faithful to his call coan labored for the hawaiian people for 35 years and then went to be with the lord at the age of 81 beloved are you doing the follow up ministry after preaching the gospel may the lord help us to personally encourage the new believers spiritually amen